everybody. Sorry, uh, sorry. Go ahead. So, so it's it's four twenty. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We record. We we had we had such a honestly. I still think it was a good idea. Oh, it was a great idea. Thank you. It was the greatest <laughs> idea it was a, I've ever had. It was a really good idea, and I think you should be proud of it. I am extraordinary, extraordinarily proud of it, and <laughs> I would like to share with great pride what my amazing idea was <laughs> for the 420 special of Life in the World to Come. We're going to do a 420 special. Our 420 special was going to be hyper committing to the notion that Chris and I were the producers, writers, and directors of Cheech and Chong's lesser known film, Nice Dreams. Yep. And then do a a a a, uh, a DVD style commentary. It was like a sync up film. kind of thing where you watch it and you sync up the tracks, and we do a whole commentary and the premises that we wrote it, and we did that for like an hour of the movie. We and committed. It was, it was pretty funny. Uh, you know, I there were some good bits in there. I think that there was some good stuff. You know, uh, I, I I I listen. I don't have the most brain power I've yeah. ever had today. <laughs> right. Um. But you know, I, I still think we felt did a good like job. I, I think you did a good job. I, I think had a few I giggles. did a good job. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, the, it was ruined. Totally. Listen, let's. Uh, two things I want to make absolutely clear. Uh, One, yeah. Don't watch Cheech and Chong's Wet Dream. <laughs> and two, we did not make that movie. You know, we did. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we had nothing to do with making that movie. I can't make that clear enough. Do not watch <laughs> do it. Not we watch did not it. make it. Do not watch it. Definitely don't get like an hour in. Yeah. <laughs> like, once you get like it, because for the first hour, you're like, this is like, this is like from the 80s. Yeah, it's, it's a kind of, like, it's, a, it's, it's a little edgy. There's some stuff in here that's maybe not so good, but it's you can It's in bad kind of, taste, but you know, it's then, an 80s And they movie. get like an hour in, and there's a scene that goes on for way too long. Yeah. And, and that's they all break we, the fourth wall for the first time. They break the fourth wall for the first time, and for the worst possible reason. We don't need to we, talk we, about what it was. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> to you watch can that movie. You just you could probably you know you could probably Google it. You could probably Google. It. I bet I bet everybody's heard of it. Yeah, and we're just slow in the pickup. Like, I've never tried googling this, and I don't think we should Google it because I'm so confident that you will find something if you do Google it. If you just Google that one fucked up scene from Cheech and Chong's Wet Dreams, nice dreams, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I fucking. Well, you know, Freudian like, slip, I well, guess. With with a lot of the content <laughs> like, of this movie, uh, I feel like Wet Dreams makes more sense. Yeah, it's called it's... Nice Dreams because they pretend to sell ice cream and instead sell weed, and that is a very small part That's like, of yeah, the story. Like it's like they start and they're in like a. <laughs> I guess we can talk about it a little bit. We can talk about the first hour of the movie, <laughs> like they, 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 like fucking. <laughs> They, they they they're fucking driving around in this repurposed ice cream truck that they sell weed out of, but then they go back to their house and it's like this palatial beachside mansion. Um, but no, look, the movie has nothing to do with ice cream. It's about how uh, Cheech made weed that turns people into lizards. How does that play out? I don't know. We didn't finish watching it, but that is apparently the premise of the film. Let's do a let's do a four twenty special. Let's just do a fun, innocent four twenty special. Let's just which is relax. what I thought we were doing, but apparently I, it was not. I really, <laughs> really not. <laughs> it was a tense and weird four twenty special. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude! All right, how do we get into this? I want to. I want to. I want. I want to cultivate the right kind of energy. And I want to recover from what <laughs> just happened to us. Um, uh, fuck. Um, let's just let's just let's just relax. I'm just let's gonna, just like let's I'm, just like kind of chill gonna, out I'm for gonna, a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna relax. Let's gonna... do a quick rip. <laughs> it is the 420 episode. I you know, like. <laughs> We have to do weed regardless of whether or not we're having a bad time. I'm having such a bad time. It's the law now. Yeah. They made it legal, and then they also made it so that you got to do it on 420 whether you like it or not. They did. They, we, Will hates weed. They passed that law. He doesn't law. enjoy it at all. They passed that law before they made weed legal. They, it's true. Yeah. It was a trap. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's like the purge, mm -hmm. but also a trap. Wait, it's like it if like it's purge? like if they did the purge, but then if you murdered someone on the purge, they were like, "How we got you?" and then they arrest you. Right. You know. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Um. Happy weekend, everyone. Happy weed weekend. Happy weekend, One and all, everyone. boys and girls. 
Ladies hope, and gentlemen. I hope you're having a nice day. I hope you're not watching Cheech and Chong's nice dreams. It was just so jarring. It, it was, was just, it was oh like, because it was kind of, we were having exactly the experience I expected us to have. Yeah. And then honestly, for like the first 10 seconds of that scene, it was still kind of the experience I expected us to have. Yeah, this is wrong. This it's is a it's, product it's like, of its This time. is incredibly fucked up, but it like sucks. it's just kind of an 80s thing and we'll get past it. But we didn't get past <laughs> no. it. We just lingered there for like a while. And then sunk deeper <laughs> and then sunk into deeper it. deeper into it. And then Cheech looked up at the camera with his weird little pug face. <laughs> and, and was like, we're going deep into it. <laughs> Don't look away. You like this. You're like me. Follow me. <laughs> So don't watch I'll that movie. Show you. <laughs> you know what's like, like we all, well, we all, we almost did the more common Cheech and Chong movie. Yeah, and I wonder if that one doesn't have <laughs> like traumatizing <laughs> shit in it. We decided to do we decided to do Sweet Dreams because we thought it was it was like less well known and therefore funnier. Yeah, but if we had gone for the other one, we might be finished by now. Instead of having to start over, you had to with start the all the way over. <sighs> <laughs> so happy weed day <laughs> Just, happy weed day we're, we're fucking tense we're disappointed we're tired we got all of our funny juice out for a thing that no one can ever see i'm uncomfortable i'm tired i'm a little paranoid i'm a little paranoid he's been smoking weed <laughs> he doesn't do that up that i much. don't really do that ever in fact i'm no. not even doing it right now you, <laughs> you did you did during the recording will did fake it a couple of times I faked it a lot. You yeah. did fake it a bunch of times where you just kind of lit the lighter and kind of bubbled the bong, but didn't actually light the stuff. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to fucking call you out on it so bad. Yeah, but then that would have poser. broken. It, it would, would have, have broken the fourth wall. Right. But now the fourth wall is gone and I don't have to pretend to respect <laughs> what you did. Che Cheech Marin fucking. <laughs> this is the thing is you see that and you're like, maybe weed sucks. <laughs> like... like... <laughs> You watch that movie and you're like, "Fuck, I think weed's bad." <laughs> he was. He was I think like, this whole culture is toxic. He was like <laughs> lecherous and creepy in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> in a way that I was like, "Okay, well, he still gets the big barbell dropped on his throat." Yeah, there's like a scene where he gets he's like making for it. terrifying faces at a woman at a gym. Yeah. And then he like tries to do bench presses and he gets his throat crushed by a barbell. And he I'm like, pays Good. a price for his shitty yeah. behavior. And so I was like, okay, at least it's not glorifying his bad behavior, I guess? Yeah. And then in that other scene that we're dancing around the subject Let's of- Let's keep dancing. Yeah. He fucking, he's, by the end of it, he's be, his car is being approached by cops. <laughs> oh For God. the first time in my life, I'm like, thank God. <laughs> like, arrest this man. You and then fucking you'd... Chong comes up in the fucking ice cream truck and gets him out. Hey man, they fucking... I got your back, man. And they fucking squirrel their way out of it like a bunch of a bunch of fucking Dukes of Hazard rack scallions. Uh, oh my god, dude! <laughs> like yeah, they're just I... like these like tricksters. You like, fuck? What the fuck is that? Fucking... I, I never thought in a million years that I would be watching a Cheech and Chong movie going like, oh, thank God the cops are in. I, right, exactly. That thank like, God somebody's stopping Cheech was, and Chong. I was like, I hope they get caught. Yeah. I was like, I was like... <laughs> oh my he God. He stops. Um, yeah, I... Uh, also because his weed turns people into lizards. It's not... I don't and think that's it's biological weed. terrorism. I don't think that's like, him. Uh, I don't think it was him. Well, he's selling it. You know, I just shouldn't be I doing just, that either. I didn't think that's what he was doing. I didn't think he had any hand in that. Um, I just said that for the sake of uh, the bit. Okay. Well, I, the weed was turning people into lizards. Some weed was, but I don't know if it was like Cheech's weed. Okay. That makes it even more confusing. <laughs> Yeah. I, I was not following I, the plot at all. I wasn't either. I just know that at one point a guy is smoking weed and he his tongue comes out like a frog and he eats a bug. Mm -hmm. And then in a different scene, he has a lizard hand. And yeah. also he was like blowing the weed onto a bird and then it cuts that was like on his windowsill. And then it cuts back to that bird and the bird is an iguana covered in feathers. Yeah. So like there's some <laughs> weird subplot about the weed turning people into lizards. Yeah. Um. 
but don't watch it. <laughs> yeah, don't watch it. We're, we're making like, it sound really, pretty awesome right now. It sound pretty cool. It what? stops me. It, yeah, the lizard part's again, fine. It, the lizard part's fine, but honestly, it's like it's not even that interesting. It's no. like I didn't follow it partly because I was making jokes through it, but also because it like just kind of wasn't very entertaining. And frankly, that the the lizard bit was like maybe worth a 30 second YouTube video right. tops yeah, in terms yeah. of intrigue. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like it's go watch Li- just go Google lizard clip from Cheech and Chong movie. You yeah, get the whole thing. You'll you'll no, and that's fine. Yeah. And okay, so don't Google any other. Clips. Don't. Well, <laughs> like, apparently you can because <laughs> nobody's fucking talking Nobody about this. Cares, I guess. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so fucked. I feel I feel weird even talking about it like this. So Jesus like, Christ. so what what's your favorite weed, Will? <laughs> what's your favorite um... type of weed, and how to do it? Welcome everybody to life in the world to come. My name's Chris Dunn. I'm Will Wood. No woman, no cry. It's 420, everybody. You know, the <laughs> sentence I'm it's... Will Wood came out of my mouth and I was just like, but do I gotta be? <laughs> it's... I was just, I, it made me uncomfortable. I was like, oh, fuck. I forgot I'm that guy. <laughs> Who would you rather be? I don't know, man. Um, literally anybody else right now. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> I have no energy. You really just like, you watch that, we watch that clip and you just like slid out of your own, you just like, I just like, you just hate being in your body now. I just, I, I hate the idea of creating media is what right. it is. It's like, I'm just like, everything yeah, it seems... Wasn't, it wasn't just that, like, weed is bad or that Cheech and Chong is bad. Art is toxic. <laughs> it's, it just made me, like... It's all bad. I just feel so uncomfortable. And the subject that we've been discussing for the past God knows how long uh, is is so skeevy and sensitive and upsetting that I'm just like, <sighs> do I have to put my professional name... <laughs> On, have, I, I don't know, man. I don't even. Want, <laughs> I don't want to fucking talk about this. I don't want to. Jesus Christ, man. Ugh. Well, hey, look, I'm getting off it. I'm I'm trying to turn this ship around. All right. Well, I'm trying I, to pull this out into a different harbor. All right. All right. Um, our ship. Uh, we put weed in the engine of our steamboat. Nice. It smells so good. Yeah. It's extremely expensive Dude, it's the, and a I huge can't. waste of weed. I can't. No, it's just it weed sounds, is bad now. Because it sounds that <laughs> sounds like a Tom a Cheech and Chong joke. <laughs> the movie ruined weed for you. Hey man, we 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 got a steamboat. We Fuck, powered it with God, weed, it man. <laughs> but I'm we got a bunch of grass in the engine, man. But the, but the here's the difference is that they're doing it as genuine. I'm doing it as like a as like a multi layered kind of like referential thing. Huh. My bit is like, wouldn't it be stupid if that was what it is? You know, I'm like I'm actually making fun of Cheech and Chong. Okay. In like a in like a very like layered meta kind of way. You know? I'm right. making well, it's a literally satire because the, there's much <laughs> much more to criticize than Right. That. But I don't want to talk about that stuff. <laughs> Oh that's God. the whole thing. Is neither of us want to actually address yeah, let's, the thing let's that move needs on. addressing. Let's move on. Yeah. Hey, don't watch. <laughs> don't watch Cheech and Chong's don't Nice watch Dreams. Cheech and Chong's Nice Dreams, and we didn't make it. Yep. We did not make that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever tries to tell you that we had anything to do with that film, they're a fucking liar. <laughs> and they're trying to ruin us. I'm not gonna. Let, I'm not gonna stand for it. All right. So let's let's figure out. Let's come up with a premise. Let's come up with a premise live on the podcast. For the 420 episode, seeing as our very smart, good, clever, funny premise turned out to be none it's, of those things. It was, no, it was, it was a good premise. It was just a bad movie. It wasn't. That's the thing. Here's the thing. I feel like you're taking a lot of the blame for this onto yourself, and that's not fair. You can't be putting this I, on you. I picked the movie. You picked the movie, but you didn't know. You hadn't. You hadn't watched this movie since you were a young man. No, I had seen like, it when I was like 19 and like really high on mushrooms. And I remember the whole time being like, I have no idea what's happening. And, and that was for the best. And, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I think, I think, I think that was your brain protecting you. The only thing. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I must have fucking repressed the goddamn memory. The only thing I remember is like two thirds of the way through Timothy Leary just shows up. Well, we didn't even get to Timothy Leary. No. That was based. That was like half of why we picked it. <laughs> it's Timothy. Oh 
my god! Oh, I hadn't even thought of that post the thing happening. <laughs> the fucking Timothy Leary is in that movie. All of my heroes are dead. <laughs> Timothy Leary's in that movie. Pee Wee Herman is in that movie. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a uh, wow, wow. <laughs> Some guy who looks like a thin Chris Farley is in that movie. That's not relevant. I was just like, who else? There's some rats in, in there. The There's a bunch of cool rats in it, and that was nice. Those rats were good. Those are some good rats. Yeah. They were all cool. They didn't do anything wrong. No, they didn't. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they were all cool guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Cut to a, a, a grainy Polaroid photo of one of those rats at a strip club with Cheech Marin. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, yeah, a fucking <laughs> just a fucking Polaroid yeah. with that rat, like Cheech those, Marin and Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, I was about to say like one of like those like weird Epstein Polaroids. It's <laughs> yeah. like your hero just hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein at a party. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. So do we just um, do questions? It, I guess so. Don't let's don't go with the premise. Let's, let's come let's, with the premise. Let's come up with the premise. I know what the premise. What's is. the premise? The, the premise we've had, is we've had such success with premises last. The episode. premise is we we we. We we see if we can get Chris to freak out from being too high. That's fun. I like that. We just like we just genuinely see if I do too much weed. Yeah. And then you drive me home. Oh right. You drove <laughs> here. I'd have to drive you. You back. have to drive me home, and you're also doing weed and worse at it than I am. I'm so bad at it. <laughs> I I haven't smoked weed in a very long time. I'm no, you to told me that this the, the weed that you have is pre legalization. Uh, CBD weed. Yeah, it's not even like real weed, and it still gets right on top of me. Mm-hmm. Um, My body is strong and, and extremely powerful, and I never have any p- problems when I smoke weed, except for how lately I've been convincing myself that my uh, that the foundations of my house were damaged in the earthquake, and that if I sit on my couch wrong, it'll fall through the floor into my landlady's bedroom. Other than that, there's no downsides to weed. That would totally come out of your fucking deposit, too. It would. <laughs> it sucks. I don't know. what it, it wouldn't be my fault because of the earthquake. That is a real fear I've been having recently. <laughs> about losing your deposit to an earthquake? No, not to the... No, I don't give a fuck about the deposit. I, just, I figure I'm probably going to lose... I've never gotten a deposit back. The deposit is just a moving-in fee, as far as I'm concerned. The the No, it's just like a weird fear that like I'm going to... Uh, I, I don't know. I was like walking around my apartment and like I felt like I convinced myself that the floors felt more uneven than they had been. Right. And uh, ever since I've been like, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm about to fall through my floor. Well, at least you won't lose your security deposit from it. Yeah. It won't be my fault. Renters insurance. We are farmers. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. That's an that, insurance that's, yeah, company, That's right? how that song goes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, man. Uh, composer of that song also wrote the jingle for Allstate. Geico put out a really good commercial recently. Yeah. I, I don't know how to describe it to make it funny. <laughs> it's got a lizard in it, I bet. It was it's it's it was this very like straight faced like documentary about the lizard as a young man. Oh, that's cool. And like how uh, his parents wanted him to be a doctor, or a scientist, but he always knew that he wanted to do insurance from the beginning. Wait, the and gecko was, is an insurance agent himself? Yeah, I don't... It's not clear. Okay. I think he just <laughs> loves insurance. <laughs> like... Okay. He's just, See, like an, he's just like an advocate for it. I think, you know, I think he is what he is, which is the spokesperson for Geico. I was going to say... I think that's what he, who he is in universe is Geico's spokesman. Okay. And he it's, it's all he ever wanted to be since a child. And I found the commercial very charming and witty. I'm going to put reggae here. (laughs) (laughs) That's good. I like that. Uh, Download some stock reggae off free sound. I'm just going to get royalty royalty free reggae. That's good. Just kind of intersperse it throughout the episode. Just play it. Anytime there's like a lull or like a... Or like a glassy, glossed over look crosses my face. (laughs) Right? Yeah. That's, that's anytime, when. yeah. Anytime I perceive Will as looking sad, that's gonna play <laughs> reggae. I'm sitting on the floor now, guys. Yeah. He's he's kind of he's reclining. I felt like the floor was the place to be, you know. I like the floor. I'm a fan of the floor. The floor is good. 
It's a little, it's a little iffy over here because I'm sitting right on the wood and you're, you're sitting, sitting on the, on the carpet. It's better on the carpet for sure. But I like, definitely have the preferable floor area. But I like feeling low to the ground right now. It's good, right? Like yeah. it's stable. It feels safer. I feel like I'm not gonna fall through the floor when I'm like this. You yeah, know? I got four limbs on the ground. I feel like sitting on this chair. Like I, I feel I'm scared to get up and sit on it. I was I was sitting in that chair and we were watching Cheech and Chong and I kept trying to lean back and I was so scared I was gonna topple over. Yeah. But again, apparently that's just a thing I'm scared of now. So who knows? You're just you. You got. I'm just. I'm just, I'm just afraid I'm gonna fall through something. I don't know. Damn. Um. Well, I, it's I funny. I that. swear. I, I promise you, it's funny and not. <laughs> alarming and concerning i mean it's it's a I fun kinda... lighthearted new development in my mental illness where i'm uh, uh, afraid i'm going to fatly crash through my <laughs> floor into my landlady's house <laughs> and it's going to be partly because of the earthquake but it's also going to be on me for being fat like that's i feel like that's at the heart of the what? psychosis Let's talk about health anxiety while we smoke uh, a, a <laughs> substance weed. known to cause anxiety. Yeah, okay. Um, see, see my my finger here. Oh, is the clubbing? Is yeah, that a thing? I got clubbing. Yeah, got we've clubbing. talked about this on the podcast. Before. Yeah, two yeah. two doctors have now confirmed that. It's okay, clubbing. so it is. There's a weird. There's something going on there. <sighs> I don't even. It's so concerning because I look at that finger and there's nothing weird about it. Like I, I'm sure that if you're a doc, like what what does it mean? <laughs> the, the the nail slopes downward. What it's not that? supposed to do that. It slopes, oh, like slopes downward over the, that's what it is? Yeah. And that's a heart thing? It can be a heart thing. It can be a... Oh, oh my heart's so good, dude. It... <laughs> oh, these, these things don't... <laughs> these things ain't going... These are fucking flying away from my fingers. Look yeah, at see, that's... This one is a little bit weird. This one I could trick myself into thinking it's clubbing. Uh, don't worry about it. It's, it's a heart thing, a lung thing, a stomach thing, or just you have weird fingers. Okay. <laughs> so it's... All right. <laughs> it's usually a thing, though, so I have to get it okay. checked out. All right. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know why that was <laughs> <laughs> It sucks, because, like, what happened is we got high and then experienced a huge disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> now that's the vibe of the episode, mm -hmm. is two men who are full of THC and just kind of tired and disappointed. Yeah. And honestly, I feel like more 420 things should be like that. That's the other you side of that's the, that's the other side of weed that doesn't maybe, get addressed. Maybe that's what we do. Yeah. Maybe that's the theme. <laughs> maybe that's the theme of this one is that weed is bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, back in the day when I was a younger guy yeah. and I was dreaming of being some kind of media creative I wouldn't have used that terminology. I would yeah. have said artist or right. something. Yeah. I, I, but like, you know. But this was, is an art and we all know it and we should stop lying to ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Um, you know, when I used to imagine what sort of means by which I would express myself yeah. creatively in the future, I would have been like, yeah, dude, I'm going to be so fucking pro drugs. And yeah. I'm going to be like talking about how drugs are so great. And that weed was... <laughs> will hopefully be legal by then. And if it's not, I'll be fighting the good fight on the front lines for I it. I feel like that was the man I met. <laughs> like, I, feel was, like, it... I feel like when I first ran into you, there was a lot of that still. And now I have an anxiety disorder. Now you have an anxiety <laughs> Yeah. Um, it is kind of cr like I think about this sometimes because like you, you are essentially the same person you were back then. But you're also it's also crazy <laughs> how different. <laughs> It's just funny though, because I'm like, I, now I'm 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 here. I'm 30 years old, and I'm just like, oh, that, that's fucking lame. <laughs> yeah, you know, weed. Wait, you, you mean the shit they give kids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. You know, I feel like <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, now it now it now you need fucking now it takes heroin to impress you. Yeah, heroin's yeah. really impressive. Heroin's the her, I see a guy on heroin. I'm like yeah. that guy fucking. And that guy has his stuff together. A yeah. rebel. <laughs> yeah. You know? I don't like that. No, me neither. I don't like that at all. No, I don't, don't want to tell people to do heroin. Heroin's heroin sad. sad. It's very sad and scary. Yeah, no. Nah, I, um... <laughs> I still, I think... Reggae music. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! I wish I could oh, use oh, "Oh Woman, No Cry." <laughs> just so I could... Oh, I bet you could. Just I bet nobody would stop just, you. Oh, woman, no cry. Um. Oh, it'll stop me. Um, 
Hey, let's um let's, let's do some questions. What do you say? Fucking fine. <laughs> You were about to say it. <laughs> I don't I, no, I, I wasn't, I, but I don't know what I was gonna say. Yeah. Um You I feel I feel like you still want us to come up with a premise, because the premise served us yeah. so well last time. But the thing is that we're like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes into the podcast 30. at this point. Which is probably the wrong time to come up with the premise. No, I think if we come up with a really good premise, it'll be <laughs> solid as hell. Yeah. And it'll carry us through the rest of this podcast. All right, all right. I feel very strongly <laughs> that we need to come up with a premise. Okay. And because it did serve us really well last time, you know? It was even going to keep serving us originally when we went into this episode because like, yeah. that was yeah. the that was the thing is we were going to be like, hey, the world didn't end. So instead, we're going to be giving you a commentary on this stoner movie we made in the 80s. Yeah. It and really, God, it was so good. It really sucks that it, the movie is uh, really bad and like, <laughs> and like not something that we can in good conscience recommend people watch. Yeah, no. Like it sucks. Um, Cause like it was good. Yeah. You we were doing a good job. We, I thought we, we had a good idea. I think, I mean, you every know. now and then we have to do an episode where the whole episode is just us talking about how good the thing that we can't show you was. <laughs> I feel like we've done that a couple of times. Um, all right. So I think the premise of this one. All right. Hold on. Let's let me think. Yes. Blue Man Group. Okay. Thoughts? <laughs> That's the whole idea. Uh, okay. I forget. <laughs> Blue Man Group. Blue Man Group. Yeah, you I, don't, I don't remember what it was I was going to say know? about okay. that. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Hold on. Wait. Oh. Batman. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> Batman. I don't know. What do you think? Batman. All right, yeah. Batman. Yeah. Ba Batman. 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 Thanks, everybody, for listening to Life in the World to Come. Ah, oh, thank God we figured this out. No, but just, just, just. I'm going to keep that joke in, but I'm going to cut it so that it moves a little quicker. Don't. Don't cut it. <laughs> <laughs> Cut this instead. <laughs> Keep the original thing. No, I think that's great. Hold on a second. This is it. I, I figured it out, Chris. <laughs> we come up with the premise for this episode by just spitballing, loose association. <laughs> right. I say what comes to mind. You say what comes to mind. And eventually we'll, we will stumble into a concept. I don't think we will. <laughs> well, not with I think that we'll attitude. say a lot of words. Not with that attitude, happen. we won't. All right. All right. Okay. All right, let's go. just fucking say words on the podcast. Batman. <laughs> uh, j a Joker. Smiling. Frowning. Sad. It's rain. Centipedes. Bugs. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Is that against the rules? Can I do that? <laughs> you can't say the same thing. Because you're good. Because I honestly... Every single word I've said has been my second choice. The first choice being the word you said. That sucks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think we can do this though. I can't. All right. Let's All right. Just... Well, we're gonna keep going. Okay. Centipedes. Millipedes. Orange. Banana. Cantaloupe. Orange. That's... Is that allowed? I don't like... know. <laughs> that, that's this is interesting. I we're we're really feeling here. out the rules here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's say the rule is it has to be it has to be a a, a new right. word every time. Now, how do I win? Um, I don't know. <laughs> It's a point system. Okay. Um, if every every word gets either one or two points, it gets two <laughs> yeah. points if it's so so random. LOL. Okay. And it gets one point if it's bonkers off the wall. I had no idea you would say anything like that. All right. And you want less points. It's like golf rules. Okay. Okay. All right. Salmon. Row. Perennial. 9-11. Ouch. Was. No. Done. Stop. By. George. Santos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay. I didn't say it. Yeah. I didn't say it. That was just a bunch of random words. I don't know. Maybe look it up. I think that we look what George Santos has been doing. I think we've got a premise here. (laughs) (laughs) That what? That that 9-11 was an inside job from George Santos? Well, I mean, like, I think we're closer to a premise. It's We're getting there. You know, I think like, all right. So that what if the premise is, um, How about this? It's fucking, it's fucking 2000 and what's, what's, how old were we? What, what year is it when we were like 15? Eight? Two th- it's like, it's 2008, baby. When we're in your fucking dad's basement, it's fucking, and, and we just, and our, our fucking Fred Chent, our friend <laughs> Chent, our cool skateboarder friend Chent. Uh-huh, yeah just he just he just gave us the biggest stinkiest bag of the most primo shit either of us have either laid ever 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 laid eyes on but it's we got to be careful because this is some sticky icky and (laughs) it's gonna it's gonna stank (laughs) all right and we can't let dad find out that we're down here smoking this sticky icky okay and that's the premise right, is that so, we're doing a podcast and smoking weed, but we got to be quiet so that dad doesn't find out that okay. we're doing drugs and in the we're, basement. And we're, and we're 15 and, and we're it's 2008. Fe- I get, it's, it's, it, well, it's kind of like in this weird liminal space where it's, it's 2008 and we're in your dad's basement, but we're also 30, almost 31 year old men. So it's it's 2008, but we're 30 years old, and we're in your dad's basement. We're kind of so that we can, yeah. We're getting <laughs> so, to the woods of execution. Here. Okay, all right. We're all talking right. about like you know the attitude that we'll be uh, uh, approaching the concept with. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you're talking about like uh, that liminal space, and that's getting a little bit complex for me. Okay, um, I'm just wondering if there's a a, a, a a, a premise that we could approach in a more streamlined and direct manner. You know, I, I, there's something to that. Here's okay. Here's, this is what it is. Uh huh. Uh, we are on vacation uh-huh. to, uh, to the home of our very conservative uncle. Right. And it's 420. And you and I, we got to celebrate. Uh-huh. We're fucking stoners. We fucking love yeah. this stuff. We're yeah. not going to let 420 go by uh-huh. without. Without uh, without uh, without without fucking smoking a doobie, but here's the problem: our f- uncle's a fucking stick in the mud. Uh-huh. He hates weed. Right. So we got it. We're basically we're in we're in like we're in the attic of his palatial estate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. we have to we have to we have to we're we're smoking weed. We're having a good time. We're adult right. men. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, uh huh. And but we got to be careful, right? Because if if stingy old Uncle uh, Tedward finds out that we're up here doing the sweet stuff. Uh huh. He's going to fucking kick us out on the street. Right. And then right. we're going to have to find an Airbnb this weekend. Right. No, and we this... can't afford an Airbnb. We spent all of our money on Sticky Icky. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then. Yeah. Uh, and, and then he catches us. So we kill him. Okay. And then we have to figure <laughs> out where to hide the body. But we still have to do the podcast. Yeah. So we've, we've killed Uncle Tedward. Yeah. His body's <laughs> stanking up the attic with us. Okay. We're using his skull as a bong. Right. We're we're cannibals. Right. Okay. It's four twenty. We're, 20, here's we're my... cannibals. We're eating <laughs> our rich conservative uncle Tedward. And we're thing. using his skull as a bong. <laughs> I feel like Come we on. can get. Yeah, that's, that's good. Let's. We'll okay. Get, okay. Here's the thing. I don't want to. I don't want to like uh, do too much planning ahead because uh-huh. then we're just we're kind of spoiling stuff that we could just improv for I the. Th- uh... I feel like maybe we should write it down. <laughs> Like, I feel like we should be I writing. I think there, there should be a. We should like. We should make a script. I think we <laughs> should write a script. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about this. Is that like you know one of the problems that we have with this podcast is that we have to make it up as we go along, right? <laughs> and just, that's hard. If it was just a scripted thing every week, if we just wrote it out, we yeah. didn't have to think up anything <laughs> on the spot. You know, I feel like that would kind of not be in the spirit of things. I don't know what the spirit of things is though. Now that I'm thinking about, oh, it. I think it, I think that the spirit of things could be maintained. We just have to write it properly. You know. <laughs> Right, we would just have to write the spirit into our scripted Ex- podcast. Exactly. If we script this thing, okay. we don't have to come up with anything on the fly, which yeah. is so hard. Right. It's true. It is. And we also, we're, I, we could just get other people to do it too if we wanted to. If it was scripted, you know. That's true. And we were tired one week. We could get like we could we could get one of those AIs. 
there we go. We could get, we could just put we could just kind of filter in the AIs. Uh huh. Then we can get the AIs to write it too. I, look, we already have voices set up on these like uh, AI services for ourselves. Yeah. You know, that's how that's why I sound like Will and you sound like Chris. Yeah. You know, I am Chris. Right. Um, There's only ever Will Wood doesn't exist. Yeah. He's a CGI character I invented in the early 2000s. Wait, so who's Chris? <laughs> We're both Chris. <laughs> I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> It's very impressive. It's very impressive. <laughs> wow. I know. Holy shit. I'm at making it sound like we're talking over each other on post. It's just one guy. It only ever has been. He did a really good I job used, writing yeah, this I know. One. I used deep fake technology. And it's also really good writing, I have to say. I, I admire writing you. this episode. I like to think it's very naturalistic. You mm. know? I, I like going through these arcs. You know? That was definitely something I was trying to do when I was writing it. Right. Is... <laughs> You know, keep it yeah. naturalistic, kind of keep it in the spirit of uh, like a like a cinema verite, you know, you yeah. know, really make it feel like it's like really like like I want the listener to feel like they're in the same room and maybe even are on the podcast themselves, yeah. you know. And so, you know, I, I wrote this with that in mind, with that guiding principle. Where do we go from here? <laughs> Well, I think we have our premise, right? We have oh, our premise. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I really feel like overthinking it yeah. ag- live as we're rolling. No, <laughs> I, I think... <laughs> like, because, because, like, the more time we talk about it... No, 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 no. <laughs> like, hold on, though. Hold on, though. Because, <laughs> like, all right, so what if this episode is... Yeah. Uh, you and I are in our conservative Uncle Tedward's palatial estate attic, smoking his skull <laughs> like a bong and eating his dead body. Okay. And, and, that, and just to be clear, that's where we're starting from. And we're both Chris. Okay. <laughs> and it's already written. It's it's bo- We're both Chris. It's already written. And I don't actually have an uncle. It's just some guy I found. Okay, that's that's, a twist. that's kind of that, exactly that's kind of the thing that is revealed slowly, right? Okay, you know? and you're hiding it from me, right? <laughs> from my yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you've lied <laughs> to yourself, yourself, right? It's a it's a very complex metaphor. Yeah, a complex yeah. and layered metaphor. Oh, that's beautiful. It's good. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea that I had. Yeah, good job, Chris. Thank you. Why does that throw me off? So, like, I don't know why. And, like every time you say I, it, like it shouldn't. Like there's no, there is no place where like my brain should run into a block, but it just does. It just crashes into a wall. I, I don't know why. I, I don't like it. I just. I think. Um, I think that we probably just need to take a breath. I think we do. Yeah. Take a little breather. Relax for a second. Finish our coffee, and then maybe do like a quick meditation. That we could do like a guided meditation. Let's do that. We could do like a guided weed optional meditation. Yeah. For those of you who want to do a little, have a little 420 fun. But mm-hmm. also, if you're not into it, no pressure. All right. Okay. I think, I, you know what? I think that's the vibe is like, hey, smoke them if you got them. But if you don't got them, don't worry about it. That's we accept everybody here. That's it. That's it. Yes. Okay. So I'll, I'll start the guided meditation. Okay. And then we'll reset and we'll, we'll go with it with that kind of. You know, that, that vibe you were just describing. Okay. Okay. And we'll invite the listeners to join in. Here's, here, here you go. <clears throat> Ooh, you are getting sleepy. <laughs> this is what meditation you is. You are getting very sleepy. This is, if you go to a Buddhist monastery, Ooh. they'll do this to you. You are getting sleep. You are sinking into the couch. <laughs> Gaze into my medallion. <laughs> Tell me your secrets. Will is dressed like What's an attendant. What's your social number? Will is dressed like an attendant to the Dalai Lama. <laughs> He's dressed in an orange robe. <laughs> this feels tasteless. <laughs> All right. I think... Um... And we're in... Oh. What a beautiful and refreshing exercise you've let us through. And now the audience is asleep, so we don't have to worry about they're, being they're any good. They're asleep, and we have all their fucking social security numbers. Idiots. We don't have to trick them into buying bad merch or nothing. Dude, 
everybody knows meditation isn't real. It doesn't do anything. Uh-huh. Hip, it's it's fucking. It's just a tool for clever hypnotists yeah. to steal your social security number. Mm-hmm. Fun fact, bitch. If you've ever once been guided <laughs> through a meditation, you've had your social security number uh, stolen. It, yeah. <laughs> it's every time. Hey, you know that YouTube video you put on to fall asleep to? They're fucking... Check yeah. the comment section. Check. You left one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Scroll down a little scroll bit if down. you gotta. Scroll down. You'll, You'll notice see that all of those comments are security, ooh, ooh. social security numbers. What are all these 10-digit numbers doing in the comments here? <laughs> Nobody's got anything to say about the quality of the guided meditation. Why Not is that? Thing. I don't know why it is. There it is. Maybe because it's fucking fake. Yeah. Not like real hypnotism. Mm-hmm. Real hypnotism is real. That's why meditation is fake. Yeah. Because it's hypnotism. It's crazy that that like still scared me, even though <laughs> we were when I when I got here, fucking. More cop cars drove by Will's house than I've ever seen at once in my entire life. It like, no scary. joke, I like, was... 13 police cars. I thought I was getting swatted. Let's talk about the premise for this episode. I don't I know what figure it is. This out. <laughs> we're going to figure out. We're going to figure, gonna figure, out, figure out, out what the premise is. How long have you been going? We're going to figure we're it gonna, out. We're going to figure out. Eventually. It's been 48 <laughs> minutes. It's not that crazy. It's we not only that started crazy. Over once. We started over once. It's only been 48 minutes. Yeah. Let's both do weed real quick. All right, so here's what I think the premise of the podcast is. Uh Uh-huh. Cut in. Interior. This, uh, Antarctica. Yes. A secret underground base deep below the surface of the Earth. An array of lights of varying colors and sizes are flashing across the dashboard of the most cutting edge. edge but rugged technology that the government could afford to build down here. Will is sitting behind the terminal of a massive bat computer-esque computer. The blue light flickering across my face. I am shirtless doing those, you know those like pull-ups that you do on like a bar that isn't, that's like on a rack? And like when you do the pull-up, you like pull the bar off and like climb. You like you pull the bar off the rack and then hook it on to like a couple things higher. Chris I'm doing is that. doing is doing leaping pull ups. I'm doing in the corner I'm, yeah. Of the room. I'm doing leaping pull ups. His body glistening with fresh sweat. A a a, a a a an alarm blares. Red lights. Red lights flash around the darkened room, illuminating things with the color of blood. My incredible my incredible physique. The, fu- the my rippling muscles cast shadows on the wall, as I as I as I drop down from the bar and throw a towel over my shoulders, I flash Will a look and and say, g- g- uh, get, "Guess it's that time again, you son of a bitch." Will voiceover. <laughs> it's been two years since the last incident, and now Chris wants me to act like last time didn't happen. I remember his cold hands around my throat, snow wedged into my ears <laughs> rolling around on the ice my back scratched with glacial shards will looks over to chris <laughs> a hard yeah, gaze over on his face because it feels like you're going somewhere <laughs> he stands up pushes the swivel chair aside he marches towards chris with impassioned purpose and intent his chiseled jaw marked with days of unshaven ruggedness. His, his strong jaw. His, his sexy green. dick is swinging <laughs> radically. <laughs> Chris is a, a weak baby. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm typing all this out. I'm glad yeah, that we're good, writing good out. That we're writing this all down so that we can do it in like 20 minutes. Yeah, so we can we, <laughs> so that and we make can sure act that this out. It, we can <laughs> film it. All right. <laughs> this is a screenplay we're this writing, is a isn't screenplay, it? Screenplay, yeah. Okay. So, okay, so <laughs> Okay, so the alarm is blaring. You're approaching me slowly, determined. Mm-hmm. Still mad about what I did. Yeah. You put snow in my ears. That's subtext. We'll we'll put that in the we'll subtext. The, we'll, yeah, we'll say, there'll be a, a like a subtitle esque thing at the bottom mm-hmm. that says subtext. He put yes. snow in his ears. Yes. This is a video. 
Yeah, it's a screenplay. <laughs> this, is not just, this is a full. This is a full movie. I'm telling you, it's a screenplay. Right. Okay. <laughs> Why else would I be describing all the visuals so intently? Yeah. <laughs> Where do we get lost here? Did... Okay, no, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Okay. So what do you say to me? What do you? You come up to me. I'm. I'm. My, I, I'm. I've just finished my my pull ups. Right. And I'm, the, I'm the fucking, alarms are blaring. I, my, I'm fucking. I got an incredible pump. Going. We have to go outside and tend to some incident that's occurred in the past, but the last time it happened, it went awry, and we ended up fighting in the in the ice. I don't know what the incident is yet. Um, the be- the creature escaped. The creature. The creature got out again. All right, and this creature is okay okay no all right i'm gonna write this down because i feel like we actually should be you know now that we've gotten like the the main yeah now that we see we, we get we we have I'm, that's, well, that's, see that's the issue that we're gonna get into here right uh-huh. it's like again so often i'm like okay what's a good premise and i come up with like uh, i come up with a vibe or i come up with like a scene setting but that's not uh-huh. like a that's not a premise right it's like okay. this is the start of a story it's not a story no right yeah exactly so like but what, we've like, got I need the figure, kindling I, we've got to figure out what we want you know, it's well, clear what you want. You want revenge. You want yes. retribution. I think I'm, I think what I'm unclear on at this point is like, you know, what, what do I want? What are the things that my character needs in this situation? Chris you know? is, all right. So your character, I, I tend to think of as being a man of duty. Yeah. He's dedicated his life to making sure that the creature from beneath right. the ice doesn't escape. I know we've been living, we've been like living far beneath the polar ice caps yes. for like, I'm going to say like three years. Yeah. It's been a three year mission and we're, we're meditate. We're whoa, not meditating. Wow. We're tending to, yeah. uh, I don't know why the word meditating came. Maybe I should be doing another. Okay. Hold on a second. <laughs> hey, you are I am getting very <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> Ooh, what's my social number? <laughs> I'm so sleepy. Okay, I feel better now. Yeah, good. Uh, now that I've meditated. <laughs> um, so, um, uh, we, we've been charged with the task of keeping this beast frozen. Yeah. And global warming is causing the ice caps to melt. And... At least that's what the government exactly. tells us. Exactly. It's actually, it's actually the creature. Right. He's so... He's he's so he's the devil. He's yeah. <laughs> he's, and so something. he's full of fire and lava and stuff. He's the devil. What? It, what eh? The, it, it could be okay. Or what if he's just like? What if he's just real hot? You know, that's fine. He's a creature, yeah, I guess. Right? Yeah. What if he's just like a fucking warm fucking creature? Or he's, he's like, like a radioactive a, beast man. Yeah, he's like he's just he's, hot. Yeah, he's just kind of he's just That's like he's, really hot though enough to melt the ice. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah dude. fuck it. Yeah, why he's not? He's got like a bad. He's like he's sick. Right. He's sick. He's got, he's a, got bad a really fever. bad fever. He's a bad fever. I've been acting as nursemaid to the creature for three years. This is great. Okay, also so, making sure he doesn't escape. Okay. Or maybe you've been nursemaid in the creature, and I'm kind of like the tough one. You know, you're kind of like you. You sort of have a connection with the creature, but I hate the creature. The creature killed my dad. But you're like the creature, you know, the creature is a wild animal. He doesn't, you can't be held accountable for that kind right, of thing. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's, it's like, yeah, the creature is dangerous, but it's like, it has the, it has a, a pure soul. It's one of God's creatures and it can feel and it can love. And I'm like, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm like, this thing's a fucking beast. It's an animal. This son of a bitch killed my dad. You know, I'm, I'm like, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm throwing cold buckets of water on the creature Yeah. in the middle of the night when no yeah. one's around, just kind of fuck with it. Because okay. of my own internal shit that I'm dealing with. I like this idea. Yeah. And so, all right, so these characters, they march out onto the ice. They are miles away from the site of the creature right. because they can't build their outpost too close to it. And their outpost is only a, a tiny satellite outpost it's miles away from the great Arctic city that was built in 2110. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. All right. And as they're marching so, out onto the ice. We're both 100 years old. We're a hundred years old and I'm so jacked. I'm in the best shape of my life. And we're clones. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> and we're clones of of the last two podcasters in the Arctic City. And as we're marching, podcasting, real quick, hold, uh, to, po- podcasting, a horrible crime. Yes, this is a punishment that we've been yes that we've been subjected to for the crime of podcasting. Wait. 
Okay. Yeah. Exactly. No yeah. one volunteers for this job. Right. It's fucking sucks. We're in the middle of the Arctic Circle. It's cold. I have to fucking take care of this beast that killed my dad. This is a punishment. Okay. And for so podcast. Yes. Exactly. But we do continue the hubris of podcast to podcast. Yes. Right. Fucking pirate style under the so, table secretly. Right. But we hate each other because of the thing I did with the snow. Yes. Oh, you put it's, snow oh, it's in so my ears. Rot. It's complex. It's yes. Fucking tense. We and, need each other, but we hate each other. Yeah. And and we and okay and so our podcast, yeah. our premise today, yes, <laughs> is the podcast. Okay, that our characters from this upcoming film do. This is going to be a piece of viral marketing for our <laughs> upcoming film. For upcoming film. That's well, the premise. But here's the thing, though. Okay. All right. Here's the thing. What? Is that if this is going to be an effective piece of viral marketing for the film? Because uh-huh. you know, I feel like the next step you would think would be to, we we do that now. Do we what? like well, we do the premise, like we do the we you know we do the podcast, and we like we kind of we we read out the script that you just wrote. No, we... But but well, but here's the thing about that is okay. that like I don't think that we're going to do a good job. I don't think that it's going to be an effective piece of marketing material for that movie. Unless we have, like, a really good, like, deep understanding of what that movie is. You know what I mean? Well, the movie's not done yet. Well, I, well, I, that's what I'm saying. Is like, I feel like we maybe, before we jump in and, like, do the podcast, we should probably figure that out, too, right? Oh, we have to make the movie first? Yeah, I mean, shouldn't we? I mean, other because otherwise it's like we're just kind of, like, aimless. I don't think. All right, hold on a sec. I look, I look, I'll take your lead. I'll take your lead. I'm this just is... saying. I feel like I, I just feel like there's more there's more prep work to be done here. You're right. You um, know, I don't want to. I don't want to jump. So that's the thing is the, the premise went so good last time. And yeah. I don't want to jump in half cocked. Right. And like with last time, we just kind of had a loose idea of what the premise would be, mm-hmm. and it went really well. Yeah. Imagine if we spent like four to seven hours really kind of nailing down the premise, and th- imagine how much better it would be. You know, it would be like at least four to seven hours better. Okay, but if the only way to do this premise is to make an entire, uh, uh, make a feature length, right, high yeah. budget Hollywood sci fi film. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a pretty big undertaking well, between now and when we're done recording. You know, I like, I'm willing to like fight for this. I want, I want the premise to be compelling, but maybe we save can that I for ask another you something? episode. What? I when did like... you become a coward? All right, man. Well, hold on. When, fucking... when, when did you become a coward? Hey, come on. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> Hold your horses, man. Yeah. Coming at me with both barrels, acting like I fucking, you know. No, I'm just saying. Like I was in your roost, fucking your hens. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you put, put no, all this negative like, energy look, look, at me? Look, look I'm just saying, you know, like, I think that, like, you know, in order, to, in order to have this thing be what it needs to be, you need to be able to take that risk. You know, take that leap. Uh, yeah. You know, you got to be brave. You got to be. You got to. You got to be. Got to be brave for your art. You gotta be brave for your art making this movie about the creature <laughs> about the creature the beast I feel like alright yeah. uh, maybe we just I just mean for now I may let's go back to Batman I liked Batman <laughs> <laughs> yeah we think we got too complicated I feel like Bat- I feel like we, we keep it simple okay you know I, I don't at least all I right. don't have a feature length film in me alright well let's delete all that stuff we just wrote down then you think yeah we, I think we, we so. don't need any of that okay that's well, cause good. I'm not ready to shoot a film tonight yeah no I think it was it's a good <sighs> exercise it's, it's good a good exercise, exercise. It's a good ex- I, I mean look I only like I'll I'm gonna keep working on that premise in my head uh-huh. for maybe some other time yeah but you're right I think I think we have uh, you're right I think we start I mean, we were, you know, we're uh, 124 minutes into recording, but yeah. I think not 100. We're an, an yeah, hour 124. And oh, is that 100, what that 124 says? minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're we're 124 minutes into recording, but like, uh, wait, that would mean two hours. <laughs> like that's wrong. That's not true. Yeah. No, 124. We've been, we've been recording. Look, what the fuck was I about to say? We've been recording for 124 hours. <laughs> <We've> been... <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what I was going to say I at all. I say minutes. Um, <laughs> I have no idea either. Uh, look, you know, I, we've been recording for like an hour and a half, but I think I think the only nah, responsible thing to do at this point two hours. is to scrap everything we have and start over and just really with the premise and like really try to figure that out. All right, let's figure. All right, all right. All right. So okay, so, so start from the beginning. Okay, so all right. I'm, I'll, I mean, I'm just I'm just going to pause and start over. Hold on. Okay. All right, so we're back. All right, welcome everybody to Life in the World of Calm, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so... Right, okay, yeah, this is the start of the episode. This is the start of the episode. Okay, trash right the, the rest of it. Shit, trash okay. the rest of it. So, okay, so... All right. 
Um, fuck. So, okay. You know what podcasts don't do enough? What? Dancing. That's true. You never I've see never dancing. seen anybody dance on a podcast, right? Or heard it? Or heard it? You know, where does this look? This isn't a video podcast, but you know, listen, we're we're still spitballing. What if we we had them listen? I'm gonna be 31 soon. Ah, shit. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> ah, fuck. So, I don't know. Did you guys like that? What'd you think? Was that like new and, and different and novel? No comment, eh? Yeah. Speechless, it seems. Sounds like we're well, well, we're well, well on our way. <laughs> 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 I think we figured we really figured. Okay, so I guess okay. so I guess variety. Okay, so just so to be clear, uh-huh. the new premise of the podcast is ah, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think that's it. But can we like riff on that? Um. Well, we're, we're, we're trying. Let's <laughs> try. What do you think? I tried all shit that time. You know, you know. Look, it's I'm not, not gonna. Off, fuck. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it doesn't have potential. Uh huh. But like it doesn't. But like and 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 look, it's got pizzazz. Well, no one's gonna argue that it doesn't have a, a pizzazz. Yeah, that was definitely pizzazz. But here's the thing. Uh huh. We're we're. I feel like we're. I feel like we're going in two kind of polar opposite directions here. Where like the last premise was very intellectual. It was a, it was like a, it was like a deep layered thought out story with a right. lot of plot. It was a thinker and it was, yeah, too it was compl- it ultimately it was too complicated, but I feel like that's what we're missing here is okay. that like we got the dance has got lots of pizzazz and pizzazz is great. And I think we should hold on to the pizzazz, but we it needs to be a thinking man's pizzazz, right? There was no sophistication it to it. It needs to be a sophisticated kind of We want to know whose feet they are and why they're dancing. You got You can't just, these can't just be feet. This got to be like, this got to be feet. And he's like, is that the fucking, is this like the party from the great Gadsby? That's it. That's what it is. That's okay. Well, what about that as a premise? Interesting. <laughs> it's the twenties. It's the 1920s. It's roaring. It's it's fucking. We don't are, know about the depression. Pe- pe- people are 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 fucking are fucking bopping. They're sock hopping. World War Two is a twinkle in Hitler's eye. Everyone's ev- everyone everyone is just is 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 just thin. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like they're just like live. Yeah. Is that is that a thing from? I feel like everyone in the twenties was like just kind of. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think it was before they invented food. Right. <laughs> you know, like, uh, at least modern food. I don't know. I feel like I feel like like you know fashion like in ebbs and flows and like in terms of like what people's body standards are. Uh-huh. I feel like what was considered attractive in that period was just like so like just a waif, just like a tiny little thin little. This isn't important. So we're in the nineteen. 19- <laughs> people were burning more calories with all the cigarettes. That's true. I think they were just smoking a lot of cigarettes. And you know this, this was right before women were first discovered. All right. So it's the nineteen twenties. We're hot. We're we're, we're sock hopping. Uh, we're we're smoking lots of cigarettes. Yeah, uh, we haven't eaten in weeks. It's only been cigarettes. Yes, because we've been eating cigarettes. The current the current uh, tobacco funded medical science says that cigarettes are food. Yeah, that the smoke is food. Yes, and you can eat it. And we eat the smoke. And smoke. we and we've been doing that. Yeah, and we our lungs are terrible. All right, and we're very tired, but we look incredible. We're so thin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and my my name is yes. Tony Pistachio, You're, and my name is is Christopher Dunn. Oh, hell yeah, I love that. I don't think you I did. Tell me about your character. <laughs> I feel like you were disappointed. I'm a little disappointed, <laughs> but I want to keep the energy going. Uh, my character, and his name is Christopher Dunn, but it is spelled with a K. Nice. He's a different man. He's not me. Yeah, it's a, it's a silent K. It's before the D in Dunn. Yeah. Uh, he is he ha- he's he does have a drinking problem, but it's the twenties, so it's cool and elegant. Uh huh. It's a cool, elegant nineteen twenties drinking problem. Well, it's more of a crime, but you know, prohibition. that's honestly even cooler. Yeah, that's it's true. Even, even cooler and more yeah, elegant. Yeah, yeah. It's because again, he's not he's not a sloppy drunk. Uh huh. He's a cool, swirling a martini glass, 
And he is sloppy, but at this point, he's so good at being sloppy that nobody even fucking knows. Right. They you just know think I mean? that's kind of how he is. Yeah, that they he's just think he's like cool and relaxed, but no, he, yeah. he can't maintain his balance. Right. That's... He's not. I'm doing a little dance right now. He's not doing a little dance. Okay, so he can't stand up properly. So that's Christopher K. Dunn's reason for dancing. Right. Is that he's not dancing. Right. He's so drunk. <laughs> all right. So all right. Let's, right. Let's, so just a reminder. This <laughs> this sound right here. That is your character's drunkenness. Right. Yes. Okay. That's the sound of my drunkenness. All right. And uh, I'm yes. Tony Pistachio. You're Tony, you're Tony Pistachio. And I am also very drunk. We're both horrible alcoholics. And everyone thinks we're so cool. Right. We're the coolest alcoholics in all of old New York City. Yes. Yes. And... What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> We're in a mariachi band together. Yeah. 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 Yes. And. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's the premise. That's yeah. the premise. <laughs> Two wasted prohibition era mariachis accidentally dancing. Is it modern enough? Oh, you know, yeah, okay. Um, I because that's the thing. Like, here's the thing. I love that aesthetic. Uh -huh. I love that fucking that fucking Bioshock, right? Fucking steampunk kind of whole kind of vibe. Right. I love that. I love that kind of Art Deco feel. I don't know if that's universal. I don't know if the kids. I don't know if the kids are resonating with that kind of what? thing. Okay, so what are the kids resonating with? What are the kids resonating with? Um. Uh, fentanyl. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, we got fentanyl. That's a, you see that's this is an interesting maybe a uh, little track we could go down here. Uh -huh. Is because like look we've been doing weed. Uh huh. And that's fine. Yeah. But it's also for fucking babies. Right. It's for fucking it's for fucking bitch losers who don't know how to do real drugs. Maybe maybe we need maybe the premise is today is the first day of the revolution. Uh -huh. 420 is no longer for weed. It's we're fucking we're conquering it for the fentanyl army. The fucking army of fentanyl is fucking breaching those is fucking breaching those walls, and we're taking 420 for ourselves. Now, the first step would probably be to do fentanyl because I don't know what it is or what it does. That's let's put a pin in that one. You sure? Yeah. You don't know where no, I can I, get fentanyl. I, I I let's put a pin in that one. Okay. <sighs> I think that, that it's got legs. Okay. But, you know, it has more legs. If we do a different premise, can I still do fentanyl? Yeah. Okay. Well, then go. Yeah. Give me your idea. Well, I'm we, honestly, I don't really care what it is. I just, if I can do fentanyl. Did I fine. not give you any? I'm sorry. I meant to when you came in. Today. Oh, shit. Yeah. Let me, um, let me look in. Look, oh, oh, look in your, your jewel, your, your jewel case. Mm -hmm. your, That's my your case jewel, of jewels. Your jewel case. That is, it is a case of jewels. Mm -hmm. It's primarily for jewels, but it is also where you keep your fentanyl. And among other drugs. And among other drugs. I also have ether in there. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Old timey shit. You, you, have, you, have the, you have fentanyl and then just like a lot of stuff in like apothecary bottles. Uh huh. It's because I, I used to be an apothecician. Yeah. Um, and that's my old uh, business box from when <laughs> I used we, to what sell were we talking about? jewels and apothecations. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So I don't have to. Okay. So maybe it's not fentanyl. Fine. Okay. So, all right. So what if, all yeah. right. So let's, you said it's not modern enough, right? Yeah. What if we brought Christopher Dunn and okay. Joey Pistachio all right. into the 21st century? Oh, like Rocky and Bullwinkle style? Yeah. Like where they're like, they, they, okay. Yeah, okay. So, so Chris with a K Dunn uh -huh. and Joe, was Joey Pistachio? Is that who it was? Tony Pistachio. Tony Pistachio are frozen in a block of ice. Yes. And our, and our, and our, thawed yeah in a lab at the museum of natural history and oh, it's kind of a fun shit. fish out of water story okay we're kind of like just walking around doing 20s we, stuff like drunk uh, on absinthe just drunk on absinthe and stumbling around and this is so this is our first right. day in the modern world <laughs> yeah after being and, and we're hung over okay. and we're drunk yes and we're 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 full of absinthe yeah and it's 420 right. in the 21st century okay and we've never even seen a computer before we don't even know what the fuck a computer is airplanes are new if you call if you if you fucking if you if you say the word computer to me i'll fucking pistol whip you yeah 
I have I have an old gun. He I have is, like an old you, timey right, pistol. You have an old gun, and I have a sword. You have a you it's have my like, father's sword. You have a he cane fought, sword. He, he fought in the war. <laughs> he fought in the war, and I'll fucking smack that pistol across your face. I don't know it's illegal, right? I don't. Even, I, it might not have been illegal when in I was alive in the nineteen twenties. I don't know. I don't know, and it, it might have just been kind of a thing that men do. I Point is, I'll fucking I'll fucking smack you with my gun, and and then they'll be like, "Hey, you can't do that. That's assault. That's a crime." You'll be like, "Ha, huh, ha! Huh, go ahead, call the local constabulary. Like I'd give a damn." Yeah, and it'll be great. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk like that. I think this is great. I, <laughs> this I think is pretty this, good, is, this is pretty good stuff. So this is the premise. This is the premise. Is it? Is this the premise? I don't know. Wait, but okay. I still feel like Batman was a good way to go. Yeah, I feel like he's missing. Right? I feel like he's... I got it. I got it. Okay. We weren't frozen in the Arctic Circle Uh in a block of ice. We were frozen by none other than one Mr. Freeze. We're victims. Who saves us? None other than Bruce Wayne himself. And... Yeah. You remember the creature from before? (laughs) Yeah. That's us. That's us. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are the creature. No, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> Frozen beneath the earth by Mr. Freeze. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And this is our podcast. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Chris Dunn and yeah. Tony Pistachio yeah. in Thaw Dog in it. Okay. We're fucking. So okay. So just to just to recap, we are two. I'm so proud. We're, we're, we're Thaw just... Dog in it. <laughs> Sorry. That's the title of the movie. <laughs> just a huge red text that in the trailer, <laughs> in the trailer just boom, just kind of goes down, and it like makes cracks run through the ground. There's like a really <laughs> ordinary guy standing smugly back to back with a hot blonde girl on the front. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe some caution tape. Right? Yeah. Fucking the unrated. <laughs> yeah. So that's so, the movie, yeah. and it's the podcast. It's a the movie and the podcast. And this is a piece of viral okay, marketing very, very material. Marketing, for, probably the marketing material for a new movie. Okay, so just, just so I understand. So the idea is that we are we're two we're two creatures from the nineteen twenties <laughs> who are frozen in the nineteen twenties by Mister Freeze, uh-huh. who is a hundred years old. Yeah, and then <laughs> we're unfrozen by Batman, and uh-huh. then. <laughs> And then it, and then it just kind of goes from there. We I make guess a podcast, <laughs> and then it's like, what kind of podcast would these two guys do? That's the premise. All right, so that's what I'm saying. That's the premise, right? The premise is no. The premise is that we are the filmmakers of that movie, right? Doing a podcast as a form as of viral like marketing, marketing for like an the movie. AR experience, right? right? Exactly. Exactly. So, like, yeah, the movie is not about them having a podcast. No, they just have a podcast as marketing for the movie. Right. All right. And so. We just do a, a regular old podcast, yeah. But we're that, okay. That maybe that's okay. the premise. Maybe that's the premise. And then we don't. And then we don't have to. And then it's fine that the world didn't end. Yeah. Exactly, because we were able to figure it out. We were yeah. able to continue. That'd be a, right. Th- that'd be a show. Right. We can see. You know. I mean, because we gotta. I mean, we can't. We can't just do po- end of the world anymore. It's. I mean, I mean, we fucking fuck that up. So like, okay, let's be, let's be honest with ourselves though. Uh-huh. Is this it? Do you want to try it? I like. I just don't. Cause like, is it good? Of course. Uh huh. No one's gonna argue that this isn't a genius idea. No, it's it's fucking classic. Like it's crazy that nobody's thought of it. I don't know. It just feels like there's something about it that's not quite hitting it. Well, I think because we've created a uh, we've created like a context for yeah. the podcast, but we haven't created a premise that these characters. That's, exa- that's I think that's the problem. Is that with. we keep we keep approaching a premise. Uh-huh. We keep filling out context for the premise. Uh huh. We, we don't actually hit the premise because like the premise is that they have a podcast. What if know? it's an like, advice podcast? Okay. People write in, they okay. ask questions, and these okay. people they they answer them. Okay. They give them advice. Right. You know, dating advice. Life advice, relationships, you know, career stuff. What do you think? Hey, what kind of, what kind of stuff can this creature do? Um, what if? No, that's stupid. What? 
What if they can see the future? No, that's gay. What's the difference? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I wonder. That's a silly idea. I I, I wonder if if maybe we've. Uh, I, I wonder if maybe we've milked it. <laughs> Starting to wonder if maybe we uh, we did the joke. Right. <laughs> Do you, think, <laughs> you don't think we can do this joke for like 30 more minutes like 20 you, 30 more minutes i you know i think we could if we wanted to we could for the next 11 minutes continue to pretend we're coming think, up with I think a, it was kind of premise. beautiful that we found a premise like yeah like uh we we could we could watch a movie and pretend that we made it let's watch cheech and chong's fucking Fucking, fucking, it's not wet dreams, Chris. It's not, it's not what the movie's called. Uh, called the right thing. Fucking nightmare. Fucking night, fucking nice dreams. Fucking a <laughs> nightmare <laughs> with ice cream in it. Fucking the fucking ice cream, fucking, fucking, this movie's for creeps. Yeah. <laughs> it's what it's called. It's fucking <laughs> ice cream pun. Don't watch this movie, you <laughs> sick fuck. <laughs> this movie sucks. It's fucking, it's fucking hard to watch. It's a fucking tough watch. All right. All right. I, so, yeah, yeah, I think um I think I think we're there. I don't know what else. We should to answer do. a question or two. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would just as soon end. <laughs> what if we had <laughs> I don't know. Do we do that? No, no, I don't think I could. I honestly, I just imagine doing a question I'm and sit back no. down on the floor. I, I don't think I could do a question. I'm, gonna sit I'm back imagining down. trying to switch gears into my head into a place where I could answer a question in the style of the podcast. I don't think I could do it at this All point. Right, relax. Let's okay. relax. <laughs> Let's just relax. I'm worked up. Sit back. Pretend we're cowboys. Okay. My horse died. Drank water with a bunch of bugs in it. Filthy water running off from Lord knows where. The only water we had for miles. And I thought he'd be alright, but one sip and that horse fell over dead in seconds. I don't know how to read. Never I'd never learned. I killed my horse. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for <laughs> listening to Life in the World to Come. But, like, uh, 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 our intro and outro music is We Are the Hellhounds for the Taxpayers. <laughs> and if you'd like to support us on Patreon, you could do so at Life in the World to Come. At, uh, 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 Patreon.com slash Life in the World to Come. Uh, you can send us a qu- an email question at uh, Life in the World to Come at gmail.com. And. You can buy our merch at life of the world to come dot big cartel dot com. There's a new T-shirt. We have dead intern fund T-shirts. The dead intern fund. And people like them. <laughs> it's for the dead interns. It's for the dead interns. Pull yourself together. I think I'm gonna have. Pull yourself the some. fuck together. You're a mess. Look at you. Um, I'm. T- I want to go home. <laughs> But you'll I'm, go, I'm you'll already go at home, home when you're good. When I'm fucking good, ready to let you go home. I'm already in my home, and I want to go home. You ever feel that way, Chris? You ever feel like you ever be in your home? You just want to go home, even though you're in your home. Uh, Pull yourself together. No, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did we cut yet? Yeah. Is it over? Oh, we did. <laughs> we cut an hour or two ago. <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs>